This is Staccato from the Second Street Dreams Audio Network. I'm Jude Lip Gibson. This week, I have a note dotting the classical music landscape. It's the Ann Parsons Leadership Program from the League of American Orchestras. It is a new program of the League that has the goal of achieving equity in gender at the highest levels of executive leadership in American orchestras. Kane Thomason Reedus, the VP of Inclusion and Learning at the League of American Orchestras. There still persists uh, a lack of gender equity in our executive leadership. It's improving. It has definitely improved over the years. So that is something to celebrate, uh, but it's not there yet. The mentors in the program are teaching the various skills needed to maneuver the kind of careers the participants are looking for. Kim Noltemi, who's the CEO of the Dallas Symphony, she's one of our founding mentors. We've got her, we've got Jennifer Barlament from Atlanta Symphony, we've got Marie Helene Bernard from St. Louis Symphony, and we've got uh, Malia Taranjo from Pittsburgh Symphony. It's everything from, you know, learnings from their own personal leadership journey of how they've gotten to where they are, which has not been easy. Um, they're quite successful. They're quite well respected. Um, in some cases, it's also, um, it's a, it's very specific tactical recommendations, you know, professional situations that the participants are, are facing right now. Um, sometimes it's helping choose between various job options. Six women and non-binary orchestra professionals from all over the country were chosen to take part in this first-of-its-kind program for the League. Most of them are already executives at smaller orchestras, like Emma Kale, who's executive director of the Grand Teton Music Festival in Jackson, Wyoming. Here's their performance of Mahler's Symphony No. 2. They are not without track records. They all are, are doing quite well. Um, and they all have aspiration to, to move further along that path. You know, in some cases it might be um, to higher level positions. In some cases, uh, they're already in leadership positions and would like to move to bigger budget orchestras, things like that. And um, a lot of also just um, mutual support amongst this cohort. They are a tight group of individuals and it's really impressive to see. And wouldn't you know it, one of the six is a born and bred Texan, from Austin even. My name is Katherine Beeson, and I am the assistant principal violist of the Colorado Symphony. Katherine Beeson started her training at McCallum High School before its performing arts designation. She stayed in Austin to earn her Bachelor of Music in Performance at UT. There's a master's at the Manhattan School of Music and a teaching position with the New York Philharmonic before the Colorado Symphony came calling. And somewhere in there... I played with the Austin Symphony. I was in the Lyric Opera for a hot second, too. Uh, I mean, I there's too many to list, and I don't want to leave anybody out. So can I just say, hey, y'all... Beeson is the only working musician in this first cohort of the Ann Parsons Leadership Program, and her experience in arts administration led her to apply. I've been very interested in arts administration uh, for a number of years. I mean, I, I run a, a chamber music series in upstate New York in the summertime, and so I wear all the hats. I served as the director of education and community programs for the Colorado Symphony, and I really got a taste uh, for what it was like um, you know, working arts admin in a meaningful way for a larger organization. That earlier experience is as creative producer, violist, for Ensemble Fauchou. This is some of their work. Kane Thomason Rita says so far, the program is going well for everyone involved. What does success look like? Success looks like the participants in this program are achieving their own career goals and the field of American orchestras has better gender equity in its executive leadership. We have better representation, we have better leaders, and these people have the careers they want. Thomas and Rita says there will be a second cohort of the Ann Parsons Leadership Program they're just not sure when they'll open applications.
That's Staccato. I'm Jutland Gibson on the Second Street Dreams Audio Network. Thank you.